Hello, and welcome to my first video about my capstone. Over the past six months, I have been researching sustainable architecture through Earthships. For my project, my family and I visit Eli and his wife, Alexis, who are building one of these structures up in New Hampshire. During the week, Eli works as a construction worker in Boston, so he's no amateur when it comes to construction buildings. He also takes scrap material from the construction sites to use in his Earthship. Oh I, sal I salvaged them from a, um, a school out in, that we're doing in New Hampshire. These windows were a fraction of an inch off, so the site was about to throw them away. Mm -hmm. I was working in Tewksbury, um, Massachusetts, uh -huh. and they were, we were remodeling the Tewksbury Town Hall. Oh, really? And they were throwing away big arch windows, half windows that are 110 years old. Oh, oh my gosh. Right? Wow. They're throwing them away. I grabbed two of them Thank so I can save them. This I whole wall them. here is going to be all that. The Environmental Protection Agency study found that on average 6.4 pounds of garbage is created per square foot during a construction project. You guys came up the big hill uh -huh. when you first mm -hmm. came up. There's a lumber mill over there. Oh, okay. Eli used this lumber as framework for his earth ship. He plans on making his home two stories, which is why there are all the tall beams sticking out of the top. These concrete blocks were saved from the landfill. Many construction sites throw away blocks with any kind of chips or small cracks, even though they are structurally sound. Here is Eli's tire wall. A back wall made from recycled tires is a staple in Earthships. The wall is created by packing tires and stacking them up in a U-shape around the back, then filling in the crevices with cans, encasing the wall in chicken wire and concrete. This creates a thick insulative wall for the back of the airship, as well as reusing tires. But what I found especially interesting was how Eli planned on keeping his airship warm in the cold New Hampshire winters. Heat is less of a worry in the sunny desert of Taos, New Mexico, where airships were originally created. Eli's answer? A rocket stove. We made a, a mock one. Um, oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it worked. It kept oh, wow. our garage, which was... Not insulated at all. Nothing. That wow. kept it at a comfortable temperature all, all day all long. With, and I burned probably about that much wood. Really? Huh. Yeah. Wow. And it's just oh. a little kid and you just feed it. And huh. It makes that sound like a rocket. Oh. You know, say this is a, the hopper. You mm -hmm. feed the hopper like this uh -huh. and it huh. goes into, it burns on the bottom sideways and it comes up to a 55 gallon steel drum. Huh. And in that drum, the, there's a center core that comes up so the heat. The smoke comes back down and then it goes through a, a, a heating bench. Huh. So the exhaust is basically underneath like a big seating or huh. like a day bed or whatever. Oh. And so you can sit on it. Which like is made yeah. out of like adobe. <laughs> yeah, you know, all of adobe. Oh, so it's like holding onto yeah. the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. solid mass. Like, yeah. The idea of the airship is actually these tires absorb the heat from the sun. Mm -hmm. So in the back side, you got a, you got a frost area, okay. mm -hmm. a vapor barrier. <laughs> It traps all that heat, so in the evening, it'll dissipate and come huh. into mm -hmm. your living area. So yeah. you, your transfer of heat will balance uh -huh. out. Huh. So you have to use very little fossil fuels. Or cooling tubes are another part of the Earthship heating and cooling system. They are relatively new developments coming up in the past five years. Long tubes run from the interior space through the tire wall, through the earth berm, to the outside behind the Earthship. The idea is that the air from the outside travels through the long tubes. The Earth's natural temperature cools that air. Then, when the Earthship gets too hot in the summer, you can just open up the end of the cooling tube on the interior of your Earthship, and it's like natural air conditioning. In conclusion, it was so cool to see the Earthship in progress. Even though I only touched upon a small portion of what Earthships are and how they work, I learned a lot about what it takes to build an Earthship and the different materials that go into making one. I really enjoy learning everything Eli knew about construction, Earthships, and what materials go into making one. I'll include some links down in the description for more information about Earthships in general if you're interested. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you Eli and his wife Alexis for letting my family and I come visit and giving us such an in-depth and interesting tour of their Earthship. I literally couldn't have made this video without them. So that's it. Look out for another video or two about my capstone. Come to my presentation May 11th, 2018. Thank you for watching. Bye!